clarifying traditional doctrines. You have already been assured many times that everything you have received from me myself through the working of the Spirit within you can be supported by you as pure truth. I will certainly not let you live in error if you have the sincere will to live in truth, to think correctly, and if you always ask me to impart the truth to you. But people are frequently unwilling to abandon erroneous thoughts because they have accepted a mental concept which they deem to be irrefutable truth, because they had repeatedly adopted and passed it on over a long period of time. And since no particular knowledge was necessary for the souls to mature, but more likely would have confused people's thoughts, they did not need additional knowledge either. But if a person's desire to attain, receive, clarification is very strong, he will also receive it, because only I can give clarification, only I can instruct those people correctly, who allow the working of my spirit within themselves. The word I convey to people excludes all error, but the person who receives my word has to free himself from all spiritual knowledge received from other sources, because truth can only be given to a heart devoid of error. In other words, I can only exist where my adversary has left. You humans rely on the book of books and believe that its content has not been subjected to forgeries. But I repeatedly tell you that nothing remains pure once it is handled by imperfect human beings, although it will indeed always be similar to what had originally emerged from me but you have no guarantee for undistorted spiritual truth. And this even less the further back you look at the earliest time of people on this earth. Whatever you are told about it now is only partially true because pure truth is an attribute of perfection and people are not perfect, consequently you cannot rely on the reports from primeval times which you still consider to be the only truth. The truth will never remain pure throughout the generations, whereas error and a misguided doctrine will be tenaciously supported and even maintained for a long period of time without infringement. And these misguided teachings are people's foundation, and they are not willing to be taught differently either. Until once again an opportunity arises when the purest truth from above can be conveyed to people. But this is not accepted if it differs from adopted ancient spiritual dogma, and only those who desire the truth with all their heart will be touched by it and accept a teaching even if it contradicts traditional doctrines. My spirit does not err, but my spirit cannot always work in a person who allows himself to be drawn into the world. When he wants to know things which cannot be considered to be spiritual knowledge, which are of no importance for the maturing of the soul and which the person usually has already answered himself, and thus by his own thoughts he prevents the expression of my spirit. This is a danger which can only be eliminated by means of an intimate bond with me and a constant request for protection from error, and if it now concerns a teaching which has never been doubted since time immemorial, which every person has accepted as his mental property by being unable to believe any other account, it cannot be disproved either if I don't want to compel a person's thoughts but anyone who desires the pure truth will receive it and then also gain the inner conviction that it is the truth. The point is to transmit spiritual knowledge to earth during the last days which should make my reign and activity in the universe understandable to people, so that they can extract from it the right explanation for everything, because this pure truth shall be taken along to the new earth. Consequently, Misguided teachings will have to be revealed and counteracted by pure truth, and that is only possible if I myself, as the giver of truth, can work within a human being who is so loyally devoted to me that he unconditionally accepts what I offer him, and then also distributes what he receives, particularly at the time of the battle of faith it depends on who has accepted this truth for he will endure all attacks because the truth has also given him the necessary strength to defend it. 
The issue is not that the human being should know everything, but every misguided teaching, which was spread amongst humanity by my adversary himself, will be used by my adversary during the last battle of faith to destroy all faith in people when they will have to recognize that they had supported implausible doctrines, and these very doctrines will be quoted by your enemies themselves to encourage you into surrendering everything. You do not know his cunning and trickery, but I know how he proceeds against you who want to believe. And therefore I inform you of the facts wherever possible. And you, who are receiving my word, will soon be faced with questions which you cannot answer in any other way but with my given clarification from above and then you can also understand why such knowledge was given to you by me, which appears to contradict the book of the fathers and yet is the pure truth. For the origin of this book can no longer be examined by you for its credibility. But when I speak to you myself then I am also the origin of the spiritual information you receive, and then you need not fear that you receive errors, because I am the truth of eternity, and I give it to those who sincerely desire it. And ever since the beginning I have informed the people myself, because the first human beings heard my word within themselves, but they only possessed the degree of knowledge which was necessary to recognize me myself and to fulfill my will. However, due to my adversary's influence the light of awareness faded steadily the less they observed my commandments. Amongst the first human beings were also embodied beings of light who would let their light shine amid the people, but the growing heartlessness of people resulted in an increasingly darkened state of mind. And time and again I spoke through the mouth of the prophets to repeatedly kindle the light in them again. When Jesus descended to earth, because the darkness had become almost impenetrable, a bright light was emitted yet again into humanity's spiritual night. And you must know that error could always establish itself during such times of spiritual darkness. And the people who had accepted the task to record the events which were compiled in the book of books had not been without misconceptions either. Consider the length of time which has passed since and don't believe that such records have been truthfully preserved throughout this time. But I have always been able to tell you through enlightened human beings what you require for the maturing of your souls. And these messages have always remained the same, time and again they have been made known to people as my word and I will continue to convey my word to earth time and again so that humanity can obtain the pure truth. However, historical records cannot be described and valued as my word as long as they do not relate to spiritual events which had taken place in the spiritual realm at the time of and after the creation of the beings, which had been brought into existence by my love. You should know of these events and thus you will be instructed in all truthfulness, because you should know the meaning and purpose of your earthly existence, and thus I will also give you clarification about the process of return of what had deserted me and shall return to me again. And this in all truthfulness. Hence you were also given clarification about the origin of creation and the path of all fallen spirits through the works of creation up to the human being. The origin of the human being has also been explained to you, but every event of creation had occurred countless times, because I have no limitations and my strength is constantly at work. Besides, countless spiritual beings were also in need of the works of creation, the human being cannot even imagine their huge number. But the human being limits himself even in his thinking and therefore he will also be subject to wrong conclusions, which can only be rectified again by me if my spirit is allowed to work in him. Then the correct clarification can be given but only if a truthful clarification about it is requested because it has nothing to do with the achievement of a person's spiritual maturity, but such a clarification has been requested and therefore the prayer has been fulfilled. Amen.